How many times have you fallen short on your position play shot like this? But even though you came up short, it was okay because you had the shot and you pulled it off like this. Well, if you want to learn this shot and how it becomes a hanger for you, then this video is for you. here welcome once again to the pool student channel and thank you very much for watching everyone what I'm about to share with you today is going to make your game so much better you're not gonna believe it the shot I'm gonna share with you is so simple it makes the shot a hanger without further ado let's get into it okay let's break down this shot what we have here is we have a ball that's frozen to the cushion and we have a very steep angle with the cue ball. Now, if we hit rail first, and you'll see my indicator right there, I'm putting inside spin with a little tiny bit of top, a little bit of follow that is. And if I hit rail first, the cue ball will strike the rail and then basically act like a kick shot and kick the object ball down the rail into the corner pocket. And it'll actually hug the rail very well on occasion. And you can miss hit it too and still make it. Here you can see how close the uh, nine ball stays to the cushion. It's just a beautiful shot and it really makes it easy. We have a lot of room for uh, error here. Margin of error is great. And I'm gonna show you that here. What you're going to see is that I'm hitting the rail just before and then once the cue ball compresses the cushion it'll actually twist its way into this nine ball driving it down the rail now this happens to be shot one and we're looking at it where it's very close to the nine ball and here is the contact point once the com uh, compression of the cushion occurs now I want to show you shot two. Now shot two is a little bit different because I actually hit the cushion a little bit further away from the object ball. Notice here that it comes in and there's quite a gap actually between the nine ball and the cue ball once the cushion is compressed. I'm going to show you a stop action view of this and you'll see the distance between the cue ball and the nine ball is quite vast actually so that gives us that margin of error we can be short of the nine ball or almost on the nine ball and still pull off the shot and here is a direct comparison from shot one to shot two and you can see the difference in our gap and this is when the rail is compressed okay lastly i want to show you two shots here this is a long range a severe angle shot and you can still make it with this technique notice here the cue ball is very close to the nine ball and this happens to be a shorter range shot and I'm gonna like I say show you both of them and let's break it down here's the short range cue ball comes in hits the rail first drives the nine sideways into the corner pocket this is a long range shot same thing Notice we're putting a lot of side spin on this cue ball. And notice just like before, we have a gap between the nine and the cue ball prior to contacting the cushion. And you can actually see the cue ball jet to the side into the nine once the spin grabs the rail. A very cool view here to give you an idea of what's happening. This concludes today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I answer them all. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. And once again, like I always say, keep on practicing.